Hey, how's it going? Nat here. Let's see what's making news. Someone has found buried treasure in the Rocky Mountains of North America. A chest full of gold and jewels was planted there by a millionaire art collector 10 years ago. People all over the world have hunted high and low for it, and now it's finally been found. Here in the Rocky Mountains, a chest filled with the finest treasure has been lying amongst the trees for the past 10 years, just waiting to be found. Sounds like something from a movie, right? Aztec gold. The heathen gods placed upon the gold a terrible curse. Well, the gold we're talking about is a little less cursed and a little less piratey. In fact, it was hidden by this guy, Forrest Fenn, back in 2010. He's a big time art dealer who liked the idea of launching an old fashioned treasure hunt to get people off the couch and into the wilderness. So he put some of his prized possessions, worth more than a million dollars, into a chest and buried it. Thousands of people tried their luck, armed with just a map and a poem which contained clues on the treasure's whereabouts. But it turns out treasure hunting is risky business. Some people quit their jobs to strike gold, and over the years, five people have died in the search. Now, after a decade's worth of hunting, the treasure's been found. Forrest Fenn says the guy who found it wants to remain anonymous, but is now the proud owner of gold, gemstones, and some rare coins. Although Forrest says he's a little sad the chase is over, he's happy it's been found, and hopes it'll inspire more adventurers. Life for our New Zealand neighbours is pretty much back to normal. Yep, people have woken up to a coronavirus and restriction-free country today. They've gone through some pretty tight restrictions so far, including four weeks of lockdown. But it's paid off. All schools and workplaces can reopen, and it's ditched rules around social distancing and gathering sizes. Borders will be staying shut, though. Were you one of the tens of thousands of students in Victoria or Tasmania who went back to school today? Well, if so, you were the lucky last. After months of learning from home because of COVID-19, all school students across Australia are now back in the classroom. All right, it's time for sport. Here's Liv. In NRL, the Canterbury Bulldogs have taken down St George Illawarra 22-2 for their first win of the season. And scores a try that gets the Bulldogs home today, you would imagine. Yeah, sure the Dragons have now lost four games in a row and haven't scored a try in their last two. The AFL is back this weekend and so are crowds. Well, some of them anyway. 2,000 fans will be allowed in for the showdown in Adelaide between the Crows and Port Power. Argentinian canoeist Sebastian Rossi is used to navigating intense rapids. So this is, well, a bit of a downgrade. But when you're determined to qualify for the Olympics and have to get your training in, you make do with a bit of imagination. Well, maybe a lot of imagination. If you've ever pulled out a ukulele at Christmas, busked at the markets, or been forced to perform a class dance at assembly, well, then you know what it's like to put on a show. Hopefully a good one. Britain's Royal Ballet has made a short film featuring, well, lots of dancing, of course. Set to the tune of Living in a Ghost Town by the Rolling Stones, the short film highlights the struggles of artists living through the COVID-19 pandemic. The doors to Paris Zoo have been closed for three months, but now they're open again and the show is ready to go on with a few extra cast members joining the ranks. 62 newborns, ranging from baboons, ring-tailed lemurs to Humboldt penguins, have been born since the zoo was first closed. This is the United States Astronaut Hall of Fame for performances that are truly out of this world. The newest additions to the Hall of Fame are veteran astronauts Pamela Melroy, Michael Lopez Alegria, and Scott Kelly. And it can't help but make you feel good when people you respect and admire um, honor you in this way. I mean, that's, that's pretty amazing. I mean, it is, but so is just being an astronaut, really. That's all the news for today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye now.